It's Q&A time. I asked you guys on this community post and this tweet to ask me any questions that you have. And I actually got like 70 questions this time, so I'm just going to get right into it. What do you think is the worst cop of mislabeling? It's definitely a toss-up between these two. This one was a literal sex cartoon, and this one was basically just porn. What is the purpose of America besides being a snowflake nation? I don't know, honestly. I know what you're trying to get at. Everyone does seem to get offended by basically everything nowadays. But I just try to focus on some of the more positive things in life. Would you say Kappa is the worst thing YouTube has ever done to the site? Now that is a good question because, you know, I've been watching YouTube since 2006. I've been making videos across different channels since 2012. So I have seen basically every single change YouTube has gone through. And I guess the COPPA update is like the worst update that YouTube's had. But in terms of like something that's like really bad that's happened to YouTube would be what I talked about in this video where like the most subscribed YouTubers on YouTube aren't even actual people. They're just companies and corporations. I really, really hate that. YouTubers themselves should dominate this website, not a bunch of companies. My channel is for kids, but I mark it as not for kids. That's not a question, but good job. How do you feel about this hard times of 2020? It feels like we're living in history. Yeah, it's it's crazy, honestly. I mean, like, this whole coronavirus thing is definitely going to be, you know, people are, kids are going to learn about it in history, you know, in their, like, history books and stuff. And it's not like this is, like, the first time a virus has ever affected the world like this. But in modern times, with all of our medical advancements, it's crazy to think, that the entire world can get shut down by a virus like this. Not to mention like celebrity deaths, you know, Australia being on fire, a bunch of stuff, man, the riots. Yeah, 2020 is crazy, but like I said, I mean, I always just try to focus on the more positive things in life. We got enough people in life who are always negative and talking about negative stuff. I enjoy being happy. That's what I enjoy. So talking about things that are negative all the time will make you depressed. If you were the CEO of YouTube, what would be your rule for COPPA, other than letting creators mark their videos as made for kids or not? Okay, so I wouldn't make it so kids' channels get their comments taken away in the playlist option and they can't play videos in the mini player and all that. But I would definitely be like harder on channels that try to take advantage of COPPA, like that Cartoon TV channel that I talked about. I would definitely be more active in banning channels like that. But if people want to comment on a kid's video, they should be allowed to do that. I mean, I know they're trying to protect kids from like pedos or whatever, but there are pedos everywhere on the internet. You really just can't protect the kids like by just taking away all of the comments. The parents should be the ones moderating their kids' behavior on the internet. I mean, it's pretty common sense to me, but you know, whatever. What's your favorite type of music? Also, who's your favorite artist? A lot of people ask this, believe it or not. My favorite type of music is probably a tie between EDM and rock. I like alternative as well. My favorite artist of all time is Madeon. Or Madeon, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. He's a French DJ. Super, super talented. Definitely go check out his albums called Good Faith and Adventure. Freaking amazing. Will COPPA ever change their mistakes? Well, the COPPA law is not going to change anytime soon. It's really going to be how YouTube handles the COPPA law, which can be changed. What is your favorite snack and why is it pudding? <laughs> this is from one of my friends. It's not pudding, but I don't really know what it is. Probably just chips. Do you think I should fight the head of COPPA at the center of Salford? Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. England? No, I don't think you should fight him. <laughs> Do you want to grow your channel and make it profitable with the different content you make? I know you didn't set out to be the one calling out YouTube on this COPPA stuff, or is it just a hobby? It's a mixture of both, really. I mean, it is a hobby, but if it turns into something bigger, I'll definitely welcome that. And yeah, I will be making different content, but like I always say, you guys always ask for the COPPA stuff, which is why I keep doing it. If eventually you guys become uninterested, then I'll talk about something else. Do you have a Nintendo Switch which Joy-Con color? I don't have a Nintendo Switch. It's PC Master Race for me. How did you get the name Deep Humor? And somebody said he actually answered that question. Yeah, I actually have answered this question many, many times, but it's alright. I know some people don't watch all the Q&As. The deep part means like profound thought, like talking about controversial topics, and the humor part is like the comedy of it, and the channel was supposed to be a combination of talking about controversial things with the comedic spin. I'll probably put that in my channel description or something since people ask about that so much. Given how broken YouTube's COPPA algorithm is, do you think it's only a matter of time before a big YouTuber's video gets mislabeled? Well, it's funny you say that because that Charm X guy's videos got mislabeled, but he actually labeled those himself, but they're technically still mislabelings because that content is not targeted towards children. But he already explained why he did that, and his explanation makes sense. Will Susan Wojcicki get fired and COPPA go away? Like I said, not anytime soon. Who is your favorite anime character? Goku is my favorite anime character of all time, and Vegeta and Piccolo are the close seconds. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain coming down on a sunny day? Stop asking me bullshit, Dave. If you had some superpower to end Kappa, how would it work? Well, I think you just explained how it would work. I'd, you know, I guess it would just end Kappa. 
But like I said, this is how YouTube is handling COPPA that's really the problem. COPPA's entire point is to protect children on the internet. That seems pretty good to me, you know, I haven't read the entire law. But the premise of it seems good. When did you start with YouTube? So on this channel I started in 2017, but in my first videos I've ever made in my life were in 2012. I have a classic question, why are you gay? Why are you gay? I'm not gay. You are gay. No, I'm not. Why are you gay? No, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but I'm not. What's your most anticipated video game for this year or yet or next year? GTA 6. Yeah, I think the GTA 6 will probably come out, well, probably not going to come out this year or next year to be honest, but you know, I can hope. It's probably going to come out in 2022, I would imagine. How long do you think until YouTube collapses on itself? You know, see, a lot of people always ask me this, but YouTube is a juggernaut. Like the chances of YouTube collapsing or, you know, closing, like I really don't think that will happen anytime soon. Will you make different content on your channel? Yeah, of course. Like I said, you guys keep asking me to make COPPA videos, so for now I'll keep doing it, but eventually I'll switch it up. Any updates on COPPA? If so, I hope it's good so I can get back to uploading. Nothing too significant right now. When will COPPA end? Uh, probably in like 50 years, in, in a very long time. What is your favorite gaming console? You know, I mean, unless you count the computer, I don't really have one. I used to play the GameCube a lot, but that was like, I'm talking about like a boomer time long time ago. Do you watch anime? If so, what are your favorites? A lot of people are interested if I watch anime. I find that to be interesting. But I've said this many times, don't hate me, hold the tomatoes, but I'm not really too big of a fan of anime. Okay guys, come on, come on, listen, listen. I like Dragon Ball Z, that's my favorite show of all time. Time, but anime as a whole, I don't know, I'm not too impressed by it. My favorite animes in order are Dragon Ball Z for sure, and you know, everything in the Dragon Ball franchise. Number two, Yu-Gi-Oh! Number three, Pokemon. Have you tried contacting the actual FTC itself? No, I haven't. I would imagine they're kind of hard to contact though. Is COPPA bad? Like I said in the past, no, but YouTube's handlement of COPPA is bad. What are your goals for the future with your channel and do you accept fan mail? Uh, I just want to make videos on whatever I want and I just want you guys to enjoy it, have a positive community. That's pretty much the goal of my channel. Do I accept fan mail? Not at the moment, but probably eventually. Just don't send me like shit, like literal feces, please. <laughs> what will happen if YouTube never listens to you? <laughs> Someone replied and said we're screwed. Um, I mean, I would imagine that YouTube wouldn't get affected that much because like I said, it's a juggernaut. Like, they really don't have a real competitor. I know people will say things like Twitch or BitChute or whatever, but they're still not on YouTube's level. So if they don't listen to me, I would imagine that nothing too bad would happen to YouTube. Other than the whole ElsaGate 2.0 thing, that is pretty imminent. But I would hope that that doesn't happen. Favorite show, Dragon Ball Z. Are you trying to become a news channel? If so, you are doing infinitely better than Keem. No, I'm actually, I've never considered myself a news channel. I don't know why people always say I am. Maybe it's the way that I title my videos or whatever, but I always just wanted my channel to be me talking about things that interest me. That's literally what it is. I never really wanted to like report on anything. What's your favorite Pokemon? That's a good question. I don't know. Might have to pick a boring answer. Maybe Charizard. Who are you? Um, I don't know. I guess that's a pretty deep question, isn't it? Would videos of models of trains, cars, planes, or boats be in danger of getting struck by COPPA? If you don't set the audience setting, then yeah. What is love? See, I would play the rest of the song, but I'll probably get copyright struck. What tier are you? I guess that's up to you guys to decide, right? How Lauren ruined YouTube? I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming you mean that YouTube employee. Am I ugly? No, of course not, Renee. You're not ugly. Okay, we're moving on to Twitter, so who is your biggest fan by my friend Origami? I know he wants me to say him, so I guess I'll just say him. <laughs> One of you guys could prove him wrong by subscribing, liking the video, and commenting below. What is your favorite genre of music or favorite bands? So like I said, favorite genre, EDM and rock. Favorite bands? Oh my god, I have so many favorite bands, I can't even pick one. For the longest time it was Imagine Dragons, but I've found so many other bands that are just like on their level or maybe even better. Let me just think. Okay, Seether, Disturbed, Twelve Stones, uh, Breaking Point. Oh man, I'm blanking out. Bands like that. There you go. Would you say COPPA is the worst thing to ever happen to YouTube because I think it was a fatal mistake? Yeah, I pretty much already answered this question. I think corporations and companies taking over YouTube is the worst thing to ever happen to YouTube. Do you think hot dogs are sandwiches? Oh my god, now we're getting deep. You know what guys, we might have to debate this in the comments, but I'm gonna say no. Have you done a face reveal? No, and I've already explained why I don't really want to. I really just value my privacy, that's pretty much it. How do you feel about Mixer going away? Dude, I am actually pretty sad that Mixer is going away because I made a Mixer account. I had like a description written and everything, and I was going to plan on live streaming there, but they freaking got rid of it. I don't want to support Twitch. That's why I don't want to make a Twitch channel. What's my favorite game of all time or right now? Of all time, it's Minecraft. Right now, it's probably still Minecraft. Recipe you can cook off by heart. Oh, I don't know. Cereal? 
I, I don't, I can't cook. What's your favorite game? Yeah, pretty much, yeah, Minecraft. What's an underrated music album you'd recommend your audience to listen to? Dude, like I said, man, Good Faith by Madeon or Adventure by Madeon. Zed's albums are amazing too, True Colors, I love that album. Some of the older Imagine Dragons albums that no one's really heard, like Continued Silence and um, I think Night Visions is one of them. Enjoy the stream, this is from one of my friends. Yeah, I did enjoy the stream. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag <laughs> drifting through the wind? <laughs> like I said, Dave, I'm done with your shit. What would be the fatal consequences if Elsa Gate 2.0 happens? Oh wow, okay, so. So if that were to happen, there would be another adpocalypse, a lot of companies would stop advertising on YouTube, and uh, a lot of YouTubers would probably be unable to make their income off of YouTube for the coming months or maybe even years. What is your favorite star and constellation? Dude, I don't even like, I never really thought about that to be honest. My favorite, you know what, my favorite star is the sun because it keeps me warm. <laughs> and my favorite constellation, dude, I don't even know constellations, the Big Dipper, is that one? Yeah, I'll just pick that one. Do you find browsing YouTube to be a lot more unbearable because of this cop update and these mislabelings? No, not really. I mean, you know, I guess it's kind of annoying when you want to comment something and the video has been marked as made for kids. But generally speaking, it doesn't bother me too much. How deep is your humor? Uh, pff, I don't know. I guess you guys have to decide, right? Do you reminisce past times like your childhood when things were a lot more normal? Uh, dude, yeah, of course. I mean, a lot of people think about their childhood. You know what I reminisce? times before the coronavirus when we could actually go out and like you know breathe air <laughs> but that's pretty much it guys that was a lot of questions and i tried to run through all of them sorry if my answers were a bit short but you know what before i end this video next q a i'm gonna make it so i'll give you guys my discord and you guys i'll call you guys and you guys will ask me your questions like auditorily but yeah that's pretty much it please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more see you